Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel about his son descended from David according to the flesh, but established a son of God in power 
according to the spirit of holiness through resurrection from the dead jesus christ our lord through him we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the gentiles among whom are you also who are called to belong to jesus christ to all the beloved of god in rome called to be holy grace to you and peace from our god our father and the lord jesus christ the word of the lord thanks be to god the lord has made known his salvation the lord has made known his salvation sing to the lord a new song for he has done wondrous deeds his right hand has won victory for him his holy arm the lord has made known his salvation the lord has made known his salvation known in the sight of the nations he has revealed this justice he has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of israel the lord has made known his salvation all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our god sing joyfully to the lord all your lands break into song sing praise the lord has made known his salvation please stand The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. I was thinking what should I give as a material for reflection for today's Mass. Because just recently, no, just last week, it appeared that we, Filipinos, that lodge again in a hotly contested topic. Most often, personally po, I don't want to discuss this in public because it's very polarizing. I believe that everyone is indeed entitled to their own views and opinions. 
Kumbaga, ito ho yung mga kwento na matutunghaya natin usually sa mga barberia, sa mga kanto, sa mga chismisa ng mga magkakapitbahay. Kung hindi man ito maging mitya ng magkakawatak-watak ng mga magkakaibigan, even family members. No? Dahil iba't iba ang kanilang opinion. Pero ito rin naman ay nagiging daan minsan upang magkalapit ang mga may pare-parehong pananaw. In our gospel reading today, Jesus was challenged to give a sign to prove whether or not He was legit. Hindi siya fake. Magpakita ka ng sinyale sa amin. That through a sign, perhaps a factual empirical data that they could confirm and validate, He could be considered as someone true since it is evidence-based. Verifiable, ika nga. However, Jesus turned them down, telling them that their generation is an evil generation, for it was constantly seeking a sign. Jesus responded that the sign that will be given to them will only be the sign of Jonah. And we know that the sign of Jonah is a prefiguration of the story of Jesus. His passion, death, and resurrection. It was as if Jesus was telling them, you don't need signs, no? Because it, if you will be given signs, no? It will not be enough. You have your own interpretation of those signs, even if I show them to you, because you have so much prejudice and bias. What I am requiring from you is faith, for there is one greater than Jonah here. So we may ask, Teka lang, Father, ano bang meron sa dalawang ito? Faith and facts. Because really, they could be very contradictory against each other. Faith, no, as they say, is a hunch. No? Feeling. No? Emotion. No? Sa Tagalog, kotob. No? Tataya ako dyan, mananampalataya ako dyan, dahil naniniwala ako, may mabuti akong mapapala dyan. And at times, no? siguro sa sobrang taya, it goes down to fanaticism. Is it not? An irrational belief that even if it's already false, we still choose dahil naging, naging fan na lang tayo. Panatiko, ika nga. Facts naman could be based on scientific and empirical evidence through studies and historical data. The interplay of these two sometimes is the point of contention. Alin ba ang totoo? Alin ba ang hunch? We then accuse those we don't agree with as fanatics, believing that fiction lang yan. Kung hindi pa nasatisfy, no? we call na and we label na the other as a sort of tard. You know what I mean. The truth of the matter, mother, brothers and sisters, is truth has many layers. And a fact has many interpretations. I guess as we embark and prepare in this most uncertain ride of May 2022, we may not be propelled by sheer fanaticism, nor purely evidence-based facts as signs. Instead, may we be propelled by faith, that beyond all this, God is the one who is in control. We observe and let things unfold, for it is teaching us something about ourselves, our maturity, ika nga, as a nation. Perhaps it is even best to withhold our judgment first, Contemplate, discern, 
reflect, pray. Our judgment has, time and again, betrayed us in the past because we may be operating on our prejudices and bias. No? Sabi nga nila, no? maraming namamatay sa akala. Hmm? Akala. Akala. Between facts and fiction, as followers of Jesus, let us bank on more on our faith in God. Let us bring all our doubts and fears to prayers so that after all, there will be no sign, not even a supposed fact or version of truth we hold on to dearly, but the sign of Jonah that indeed someone greater than Jonah is here who is con- in control of everything that's happening. God is the one who is in control. And what He expects we hold on to dearly is not facts, nor become a fan and turn to be fanatics. Have faith, my dear brothers and sisters, that all will be well. He is the one in control of everything. Amen. Please stand. We turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and respond firmly to Christ's call for repentance. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the hearts of all men and women may be converted to the Lord who calls the world to repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That we may accept the full message of the gospel, including those sayings that speak of trouble and the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That, like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil ways and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the elderly may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your son. As from all eternity, you willed his resurrection. Associate us with him forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. With our voices, we, we pray, will be joined with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only but say, only the, say word, the word, and my soul, soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives.
Thanks be to God. Kaging tapat at laging tapon, 